<clears throat> Hi, Jennifer. How you doing? I hope you're doing all right. You're a sweetheart. See, I just send a message to you now. This is just the beginning of a work in progress of calling a little more English than the break. I'll read it to you. Please call me, Jennifer. Please. You don't have to wait a month. I'll treat you like a, like a princess. Let's see. Uh, okay, here it is. A little more English on the break. Dedicated to my mother, my brother Russell, and a girl named Jennifer. The sweetest and most beautiful lady I've ever met. Please call me today, Jennifer. Why should we wait a month? I hadn't... I hadn't imbibed in that much sleep the pre night previous to that day. I awoke to the realization that I might actually meet very soon a lady of striking beautiful beauty, so kind-hearted and honest a personage that angels slipped through her front yard gate, giving her silver-vased roses, bags of buttered pecan cashews, and shawls knitted of finely wove silks from heaven. I'd written a book a few or three days previous, like which contained a kitchen shelf bottle of rude profanities I will never no longer put to the thirstily waiting page. And that, Jennifer, I promise. So please call me. I was writing about a horrible person. Please call me. So yeah, please call me. Call me today. And I'll talk to you. We don't have to wait a month. Call me today.